This man is frightening. The following contest is an elimination match. And from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. Take a look at the size of Lars Sullivan. Everything about the mountain man from Denver is huge, terrifying. Look at his skull, look at his fists. They don't make people like this. This man's like a walking nightmare, Michael. So confident as he walks to the ring. Freakishly strong, incredibly agile. And Ooh. a frame that'll block out the sun itself. Imagine waking up to that sight. Here comes Kalisto and former cruiserweight and United States champion. No matter your weight class, Kalisto is a tough opponent. Lars Sullivan destroys opponents with smothering offense and a speed that's like getting run over by a freight train. Look, he is frightening. Lars Sullivan is one of the biggest competitors to ever come from NXT, but he's also one of the scariest, too. Yeah, that frightening glare has brought him some big wins before the match even starts. His immense frame brought him the rest. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Uh-oh. Kalisto starting to break a sweat now. See if the Luchador can rally. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Well, I don't think his performance here tonight is necessarily one I would point to if I were to instruct an up-and-comer on how to win a handicap match. Ooh, what impact. Keep him down. Around the waist. Power! Spinebuster! He goes for the cover. And he stops the count. 
Michael, I know you couldn't do Kalisto's chant before, but I can. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. See, it's fun and easy to say. He's got him covered, and he manages to get the shoulder up. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. He's too quick for him there. Kalisto has him in his sights. He might have it. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar. Way wow. slip. Yeah, Raw Pine Buster. This is not where Cookie goes for the cover. was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to... He wants it one more... Oh, from the top! This could be the turning point, Cole. If at first you don't succeed... We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situations. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game there are. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors involved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, History's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Oh boy, he is rolling. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Quite like this guy. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giant's opponents could be in the ring at the same time, where one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are so... Now he's working. Big headbutt. That has got to be it. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Around the waist. Power! Spinebuster! Lars Sullivan is going for it early. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. 
The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. But we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. You have to feel helpless heading into a match like this when you're on the wrong end of the numbers game. Ooh, he's on the defensive now. At this point, you have to ask how much more he has to give here in this handicap match. In a back and forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Harsh impact. I don't know if their opponent expected that. superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look out, look out! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Amazing. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? It's going to be hard for him to win this counter here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Sullivan, so oh, nasty impact. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Dangerous, but effective. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Wayslip. Oh. Yeah, run. Oh, right to the back. But he's running. He's going for the pin. has been a rule. Way oh. slip. Yeah, run. Right. Buster. Just when you thought, is that enough for the win? Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Lars Sullivan. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. Wow. Just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match.